As John was exploring his newly purchased house, he stumbled upon a hidden door. The door was covered with cobwebs and had been sealed shut for years. Intrigued, he forced the door open and found himself in a small musty room. The walls were bare, but in the corner, he found a chest that looked like it had been untouched for centuries. Curiosity getting the better of him, John opened the chest and found a collection of strange objects. One item in particular caught his eye a small, ornately carved box. Without hesitation, he opened the box and was immediately overcome by a feeling of dread. Inside the box was a single, ancient human tooth. It was yellowed with age and covered in dried blood. John could feel his heart racing as he realized the implications of what he had found. He had stumbled upon a hidden room that contained evidence of a gruesome crime. As he tried to leave the room, John noticed strange markings etched into the walls. They seemed to be some kind of ancient language, and he couldn't shake the feeling that they were meant as a warning. That night, John was tormented by nightmares of the person who had committed the gruesome crime. He couldn't shake the feeling that he was being watched and followed, and that the ghost of the victim was seeking revenge. Days turned into weeks, and John became increasingly paranoid. He felt as if he was being watched at all times, and the slightest noise would make him jump out of his skin. He couldn't bear to be in the house any longer, but he was unable to escape the horror that had taken hold of him. One night, as John lay in bed, he heard a faint scratching at his bedroom door. He could hear something breathing heavily on the other side. With trembling hands, he slowly approached the door and opened it, revealing the ghostly figure of the victim covered in blood and seeking revenge. The last thing John saw was the glint of a knife before everything went dark. He had become the victim of a crime that had been hidden away for centuries, and the horror of the hidden room had claimed another victim. The house remained untouched for years, a grim reminder of the horror that had taken place within its walls. The hidden room was sealed shut once again, but the echoes of the crime could still be felt by those brave enough to enter. The horror of the hidden room was a story that spread like wildfire through the town, sparking rumors of the supernatural and inspiring nightmares in all who heard it. Some claimed that the ghost of the victim still haunted the house, seeking revenge on any who dared to enter. Others whispered of dark magic and ancient curses that still lingered in the walls. No one ever tried to enter the house again, and it remained a dark and foreboding presence on the outskirts of town. The horror of the hidden room had become a cautionary tale, a warning to all who dared to delve too deeply into the unknown. For John, it was too late, and his fate had become a chilling reminder of the dangers of curiosity and the horror that can be found in the hidden corners of our world.